We're back live with KingCast.net. Now, some of you following this channel may know that I've been working on a documentary short film about Clifford Pisano's efforts uh, to bring to light the contamination at 525 Beach Street. Uh, he's in a butter next door. They're putting up a public housing project there. Okay. Now, <laughs> the city has known for years and years, and the developer and the owners all knew about very nasty contamination that's there but they somehow kept it from zoning until it got zoning approved and uh, that's not cool so anyway this is uh, kind of a co contemporary update Aaron Brockovich kind of story not of that magnitude but the same kind of malfeasance is involved and uh, we showed you yesterday how the court clerk has been a complete jerk to us uh, as far as you know documenting this and, and the uh, mass DEP also Joe uh, out of public affairs was just incredibly rude yesterday didn't even shake our hands all right you're a public servant do your job don't disrespect us and we won't disrespect you well, you're not supposed to have a video of what happened that's the whole point no of this. The, no see, the whole point is right. correct they called the head of security he tried to have me thrown out all right but this guy this guy right here how you doing listen I'm doing fine how you doing stop right now stop let me have this thing. Do I'll go again. down to the clerk. Okay. You happy now? I said please stop. Try to throw me out again? Huh? Big guy? Here's the purchase and sale agreement that was executed back in April of 2011 before the testing even uh, was conducted um, between the developer and the previous owner. They knew about the uh, results long time ago but never provided it to the public or to the EPA within the 120 day window required and yet they are acting in concert and uh, submitting for funds state and federal funding for this project okay so now Mr. Pisano and I are back at DEP and it may seem like I'm getting a little bit salty with this guy Joe but uh, this is only after he walks in doesn't shake our hands and basically looks at us like huh, can you guys get the hell out of here seriously that's how it went Unreported TCE. It, it's not unreported. Yeah, it is. Unre it is unreported. That's the whole point. Okay. Well, it is unreported. The, the issue is okay. that I was trying to tell you before a minute ago. You have evidence that it was not yeah, reported. I'm trying to tell you what it is. I'm trying to tell you. Okay. But you see, I'm not in the waste site client. Right. Again, I'm sort of okay. revisiting the sort of topics that we discussed. Please put a hold on them from doing any work until this testing this whole. What I'm trying to tell you is, okay, I'm not out in left field here. They themselves said the testing was being done already. Now, he's got a subpoena deuces take that's coming to the EPA and Mass Dep later today to get the exact file to find out when they completed the testing, okay? okay. Yeah. But logical inference is if they were doing the testing in May, that they were, they were well aware of the testing a long time ago. And let me tell you this, not only that, I went to the city, I went to the site plan review board, okay? I saw there where they have a $25,000 line item budget item, okay, for the remediation, okay? Now, they, they didn't pull that number just out of their butt, right? They have said some basis for that in November, okay? Now, let me further tell you this. These are undisputed facts that are in this document, in this pleading, okay? Not only that, they had a purchase and sale agreement with the owners. The developers did, okay? The Revere uh, neighborhood uh, developers, they had a purchase and sale agreement with the owner back in April of last spring, before the testing was done, okay? So under 21E, they are owner operators between the last owner and them, they're owner operators, okay? It's pretty much black letter law. So the point is now, I'm just saying these are logical inferences. No, I and can't make that inference. How sure. not? How? Because how not, man? Because I haven't looked at the evidence. Here. Yeah. Yeah. You just I'm gave me a copy of it. I'm not an attorney. You don't have to be an attorney. I'm not in the environmental uh, wayside cleanup realm. But you're public affairs. Okay. Yes. What is your role in public affairs? To work uh, on Help the public. Well, no, no, hold, let's let him define it so I understand okay. what his role is in public affairs. To respond to the public. Okay. 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 The we public. are the public. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. And but you're uh -huh. but see you're now acting in terms of a complaint. You're you're uh, in a public the, citizen the making a complaint. Matter. Okay. We are public citizens That's, making a I'm complaint. I'm not a lawyer. And, okay. And I just want to. I also want to recognize the limits of my understanding of, of what you're talking about here, which is the law. Which is something okay, that I'm not, I'm just not a lawyer. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, but it's I'm not, not a law school. school. I have been. Not, but you don't have to you be. Don't have to, issue, I just want to, to, to respond to a matter of public concern. You don't have to be any of that. You, you, you know, it's a regulatory matter, sir. It has to be submitted here. You, you want to make a complaint? I thought, you know, we're, we're right. I thought we were going to get rid of the complaint. We're going to fax it over to. 
I can do that for you. I can, I can, I he, said he, so he, was, he said he would forward it on, okay? Right. So we have the EPA's own documents in here. We have their own their documents, too, that say that, they, that there was a purchase of sale agreement, okay? I've got prior case law that I got from the EPA's website. It's just going to take saying, that you know, much longer to get it there rather than right, do you have done a, it Let me ask you this. Do you have a complaint form that I can get from you? No. Okay, how does one file a complaint then? What's the process? What's your complaint about? And that's... Oh, me. What's the complaint about? The complaint is about the fact but that these people... Listen, 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 listen. The listen, complaint wait, is wait. that they did not, within 120 days, yeah. they did report not. the TCE and the other contaminants at the property. And so you have that evidence to support support yes. I feel like we're going around a huge okay. circle here. Okay, again. I, I, see. I just showed you whoa, the whoa, evidence. Whoa. Now, now, you, now you're talking... I just showed you the evidence. The likely info. You asked me. How do I file a complaint? Okay, right. And so I am now walking through the steps okay. of the process. Okay. okay. That we, we, so I have that what you I would need do to be the to evidence file here. Your complaint. I have it in my hand. File, here. Send a letter that says what you, why you are Listen. making a complaint. Support the documentation. We just served you with the documentation. Okay. Right. There's a copy of the document. We just served okay. you with the documentation. There you go. That's we the proof. Thank okay, then can you forward that on as a complaint then? I will do that. Beautiful, and there's Thank a supplement to it. Do I have to sign something? What? Uh, at this point, I have no idea. I have no idea what you're, uh, you're well, submitting. A complaint. A complaint. Okay. okay. And it is, uh, did you sign what you submitted? Yes, I did. Okay. Is that good enough? As far as I know. All right. I don't know if there's any more information that's requested of you. All well, right. There's there's a subpoena coming yeah. to you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and there's a subpoena that's just taken coming to you later from the sheriff to get the full file from these folks because we want to find out. We yeah. still don't have evidence of when they, they actually got the file. The files are located in London. Well, you know what? It's going to come to the next DC and it'll get forward on to your attorney to handle it. Okay. That's exactly. Yeah. Right. The attorney. Yeah. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Clifford, did you what, what's what you sign this year? my calls, okay? He asked me if I knew anything special about this site, right? And uh, I told him, uh, yeah, I told him more what's going on, and he stopped returning my calls. I'm like, well, we're going to, you know, I looked at the cases, the, the types of cases in which enforcement actions are written by the EPA, okay? And again, having grown up in a household with someone who did this for a living, I, I think I have kind of a clue as to how it's generally handled.